Motherfucker, that looks like Sailor Mars. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> like, dead ass. Yo, how Gundam- how Gundam gonna make me wanna fuck a robot? It's called Noble Gundam. How it gonna- it, she ain't gonna be noble for much longer. Oh god! <laughs> I ain't out here to play these games! I also gotta say, G Gundam, I- I love Burning Gundam's design so much. The Burning Gundam is, is hands down probably my favorite Gundam design. Also, what the fuck Pretty were you cool. trying to say, Vlad, about... Mm. About? About something about with... What? The... Were you thinking attractively about the fucking Gundams or some shit? Yes. No, she's... De... Yes, she's designed like Sailor Mars, and Sailor Mars and Sailor Jupiter were my, like, <laughs> two of my anime crushes. You know, I'm not surprised, considering that you have a license to fuck bugs or monsters. Yes, I have a- I have a- I have a monster fucker license, and never forget it! Wait, what? Is that, I have a monster- We- we had a long like, discussion about the Is that like with the N-word pass? Is that something you just automatically get with an N-word mm. pass, is also no, a monster fucker license? Or is that like no, a separate it's a, application? It's a, it's a separate certification. Uh, okay. What did you? Okay. What? What's? What sort of training did you have to get through to be a certified monster fucker? Okay, so have. Okay. So have you ever seen Monster Musume? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Jesse would know this. If you can look at any one of those anime girls and say yes, I'd fuck that. You. You get your monster fucker permit. <laughs> because nice. your op. The options of choice that you can fuck in Monster Musume are a snake. A bird, a spider, a mermaid, slap so a fish, a centaur, and a slime girl. Yeah. And a dryad, so you'd literally be fucking a plant. Yeah, yeah you know, you could just go and fuck a forest spirit, that'll be fun. <laughs> That's how Damn. you get your dick cursed. Like, uh, you, you try and put your dick in her, and it turns out it's like a fucking fairy portal, and your dick's just popping out in the fae dimension. Yeah, that's... Mm. Mm. I got a splinter. Yeah, really. Somebody fucking stabbing you on the other side. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that that super red Gundam that I posted is from Gundam Unicorn, and it's my favorite Gundam design, hands down. That is that is that is uh that is Gundam Unicorn's take on the Crimson Comet uh Gundam design. Nice. It looks badass. I want that Gundam. I wonder if you can find an actual model of Gundam. I wonder if you can find that model. Oh, probably, and you'll probably have to pay out the ass for it too. That, oh, that's that's thousand percent. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I specifically distanced myself from Gundam because at a point I was buying so much like miniature wargaming stuff and Gundam that I had like fifteen dollars left in my bank account after every paycheck. Oh, you Jesus went down. Christ. You... I, I like the fucking designs of the robot. I like the I like the series usually when they come out. I don't think there's been a Gundam series that I actually disliked. I, I, there's not really a lot of good video games for Gundam, which kind of sucks. No, there are not, and that's a shame. I mean, also oh, that's dude. You would actually... think giant fucking robot fighting simulator would be a smash hit for a lot of people, but nobody's, like, whenever you see a Gundam game, it's always like a strategy game or like a fucking JRPG or some shit where it's like, it's like a turn-based combat sim Like, no, I want to fucking fly in there and fucking tear his arms off and beat him to death with him. That's what I want to <laughs> do. Give me that kind of Gundam. Or you slice have... through him with a beam saber. Hey, hang on. Or even um, fucking Iron Blooded Orphans, where you have giant fucking skyscraper sized pieces of metal to clobber each other with. Give me that. You were saying, Golden? No, also, I was just about yeah, to say there saying? was a two player fighting, um, Gundam fighting game that my brother used to have on the PlayStation, and we actually loved playing it. Like, I think I, I know which one you're talking about. I, I, I would. I think usually. I think it's usually yeah, like fighting games that end up being popular with the giant robot slash kaiju genre, because you yeah. don't really you don't really have to account for like size. But that's like half the appeal is the thing. Is just like yeah, you're in a giant fucking robot that's towering over buildings and shit. So just having them be the same size as the other guy, 
and that's really the only point of comparison except for like I guess the background. I still remember being at my cousin's house and he had just gone like they had just gone the PS2 <laughs> and being blown away at Zone of the Enders. Oh yeah. Zone of the Enders was fantastic when it came out there. Ow, fucker. But yeah, I'd love to see a I want to see a video game come out that has like <laughs> that isn't like Dynasty like the Dynasty Warriors Gundam series yeah. or like the fighter game fighting game like 2D or 3D like Mortal Kombat style Gundam games. I want to see like an actual like story based Gundam game a la Zone of the Enders or something like that where you're participating in like the Calamity War or the One Year War. That shit. I want to see that shit. I want to ah, be make it something that's like objective based, you know? Yeah, Holy I... shit. Or I even just... better yet, just fucking have it where just have it be a fucking co-op game that you play with your friends. Like that's that's like the ideal Gundam formula fucking is fucking dumbass. getting a couple of people in like fucking big ass robots and having Fuck. them duke it out against the bad guys. Fuck it, solar. They what like Wish list here for me personally, and I want to know ah! if you would feel the same way about this. They make like a a multiplayer experience game that's objective based, where you play as like new Gundam pilots for Tekken from Iron Blooded Orphans. Yes, give me that. I want that shit. I love the fucking Iron Blooded Orphans universe. I want to get. I want to get my use any of those pussy beam weapons. They use bullets and real heavy metal to clobber each other. I want to run into that ship with the dude who has a- who's like one guy with the all-female crew and I want my custom character to be like, Whoa, you have- you- you're with all the women on this ship? That's kind of cringe, bro! But also kind of based! Honestly, yeah, it's cased. That's- that's pretty cased, bro. Wait, are you saying that all these- these little bastards running around, they're yours? That's cased as hell, bro. Like, what the fuck? That's also a thing in, in Iron-Blooded Orphans. There is a dude who runs a ship that has nothing but women on it, and he is with all of the women. All of them. Yeah. Every single oh, one of them is one of his wives. Yeah. He's a fucking and pimp! All the kids on the on the ship are his. Are also his, yeah. Jesus! And as it turns out, he actually does give a shit, so... Too. Yeah, that's the one thing that's weird is that he actually fucking cares about them. But yeah, you see a guy that has like fucking however god how many fucking women are on that ship? A fuck ton, right? Is it like yeah, over a like, hundred? Oh, come yeah, on. like over a hundred. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so over a hundred fucking wives and the guy's like, yeah, no, I care about all of them. I just do. Some it was more than others, but I care. This this one dark skin babe, yeah, yeah, her. I like her a lot. <laughs> He's my main squeeze. Main squeeze. <laughs> the main squeeze. It's nice. like what, what the fuck are you talking about? Honestly, yeah, but I would fucking kill for a goddamn Gundam game where you play as a continuation of Tekken. <laughs> I want to beat the shit out of Gallerhorn. <laughs> Fuck them people yeah. and their noble bullshit! Yeah, fuck Gallerhorn. You think that your knight shit holds up modern day? Fuck that shit! If you're a knight, I'm a viking! I'm gonna take your shit! Ah, uh, it was- it was a- it, those who haven't seen Iron-Blooded Orphans, go watch it, it's fantastic. It it's is perfection. really fucking good, I, yeah. I- I still say you guys should see Gundam Double O. Gundam Double O is the shit. I have been watching through it, and I am, I am, I am genuinely pleased with what I've got so far. Oh, you're a joke. I just, I really like the premise of uh, Double O. If you like the premise of Double O, you'll probably like Iron Blooded Orphans too. Ooh. I'll see them watch some time. Uh, honestly, yeah. Like based on what I'm seeing in Double O, you probably like Iron Iron, Bl Iron Blooded Orphans as well because it deals with a lot of similar themes. Child soldiers, which, which is just slavery. Like, hey, war's kind of fucked up. 
Look at these children. They pilot Gundams and fight their fight wars for people, and now they have their own like PMC. Isn't that kind of fucked? I mean, the main character in Gundam Double O is a former child soldier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's 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 what I'm saying. If you like Gundam Double O, you'll probably like Iron Blooded Orphans <laughs> because Iron Blooded Orphans is literally just like, okay, we got dealt a really shitty hand. Uh, we don't have anything else to do about it, so let's just fucking do. Uh, let's just fucking deal with it. <laughs> We'll just fuck it. We'll roll with it. That's ninety percent of Iron Blooded Orphans. It's just oh, some really bad shit happened. All right, fuck it. We'll roll with it. We'll make the best of it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Dude, do you know what really hit me? The, like hit me the hardest in Iron Blooded Orphans? What? Biscuit. Yeah. That biscuit. Sh <laughs> shit hurt. That, that shit, shit hurt. Biscuit hurted real bad. Hey, but at least, at least, at least the bitch got what was coming to her in like three episodes, was it? Yeah, at least yeah, fucking Akihiro nice got what he wanted. Mm -hmm. Akihiro deserved to go out the way Whoopsies. he did. Perfection. And if he had to go out, he had to go out in that way, and you know what? Yeah. That's, uh, that's did you have a nice trip? Perfection. I I love I love <laughs> Iron Blooded Orphans. Iron Blooded Orphans is just great. Honestly, Akihiro is probably my favorite character in Iron Blooded Orphans. Oh no doubt. Ah, <laughs> uh, I ah, uh, Akihiro just damn that like I there's literally a scene he went of through it. so much. There is a scene, like, simply All labeled right. that scene, like, at the end with him. We've come, Ooh, to, yep. we've come to Sigma. <laughs> him in that fucking Reaper uh, outfit. This is really amusing, isn't it, X? Yeah, no shit. Go on. You're not subtle at all. Oh. <laughs> okay.